PEF Houting Ground Forces, the former National Chairperson, and all commissars who are here, members of parliament, members of mayoral committees, the speakers of our councils. This exercise I was engaging you in, it's an exercise that those who were involved in the struggle in the 80s used to sing this song, so I knew Dali would know this chance. Now, I'm making you do this chance that were done in the 80s, when O.R. Tambo called on the youth of South Africa to render the apartheid government ungovernable and South Africa unworkable. The youth of South Africa responded with precision and made sure that South Africa becomes a battleground for the total liberation of our people. And because of that 80s generation, which rendered South Africa ungovernable, 1994 became possible. So you can't be, you can't say 2024 is your 1994 if you are not in the mood of the 80s before 2024. So you ought to be, you ought to be in the same spirit of the 80s just before 1994. So that indeed you have internalized exactly what you are asking for. Comrades, we have gathered here as leaders of the EFF in our own right because the organization has decided that at this level the structures of the EFF must come together to prepare for 2024 elections. The elections in 2024 are the most important and a turning point elections in South Africa post-1994. A missed opportunity of 1994 is about to be realized in 2024. We can say here, without fear of contradiction, that for the first time in 2024, the ruling party, a failed former liberation movement, will for the first time since 1994 face a resounding electoral defeat in the 2024 elections. Those who think and believe that the ANC will survive 2024 national and provincial elections need close, very close medical and psychiatric observation. <laughs> we are in no doubt that from 2024 onwards, the EFF will constitute the government of South Africa and will play a central role in the governance of the province of Gauteng, KwaZulu Natal, Limpopo, Northwest, Mpumalang, and all over South Africa. When we started 10 years ago, we said that additional to be a revolutionary organization that associates itself with the protest movement, we are a government in waiting. Since our formation 10 years ago, we as the EFF have been at the center of South Africa's political discourse and politics in general. We brought to the mainstream political discourse the centrality of the neglected land question. We have initiated and gave impetus and energy to parliament as an institution that oversees the executive and make laws. No one knew that Parliament had a channel on TV until the EFF arrived in Parliament and people started following Parliament. When the youth of South Africa had given up and were no longer interested in politics, the arrival of the EFF revived the political activism of young people in the township, in the villages, and more particularly in the institutions of Harlenin. The youth of South Africa are now rejecting the old and are receiving the new. 
the people of South Africa will in 2024 be liberated and they themselves will liberate themselves from 30 years of mediocrity. I've put this morning on Twitter a picture of Gwede Mantashi and that's how South Africa looks like now. It looks exactly like Gwede Mantashi. The people of South Africa will be liberating themselves from 30 years of economic and social exclusion, 30 years of joblessness and the highest levels of unemployment, 30 years of poverty and hunger, 30 years of landlessness and homelessness, 30 years of crime and high levels of gender-based violence, 30 years of dysfunctional municipalities and poor service delivery. 30 years of inequality and the economy that is not growing. Comrades here in Gauteng were sitting on top of a disaster because this province with so much potential, for 30 years it was misgoverned. There is nothing that the people of Alexander can proudly stand and say, this is what we got from a democratic government. The people of Alexander for 30 years have been observing and witnessing on a daily basis contact crimes, sexual offenses, rape, assault, harm, common assault, arson, and malicious damage to property with Alexander Police Station being always in the top 10 of areas that high crime is committing. Comrades, the youth of Deep Slot will have themselves to blame if they don't stand up in 2024 because the youth, all of them combined in Deep Slot, 75% of them are unemployed. And they are the ones who feel this pain and that unemployment and poverty to them is not theory, it's a daily lived experience. And therefore, 2024 gives them an opportunity to go and vote for jobs. How can you have the youth of Deep Slot, all of them, unemployed? Because when you say 75% of the youth of Deep Slot is unemployed, you effectively say all of the youth in Deep Slot is not waking. And it is the youth of Deep Slot that must stand up to go and register and vote for the EFF in 2024. In Deep Slot, there are high levels of crime are an indication but equally a confirmation of what we are talking about here when we say 75% of the youth are not waking in deep slot. In Clip Town, people are living in wetland and informal settlements that are nowhere close to what the Freedom Charter envisaged. The Freedom Charter was adopted there. We were supposed to show through the people of Clip Town what 1994 meant by giving them proper houses, proper land, proper water and electricity. Today, the people who stay where the Freedom Charter is adopted have nothing to close to what the Freedom Charter envisaged. Comrade, what is Mfuleni without potholes? Because the synonym for Mfuleni is potholes. Water Dal Road with big potholes with 174 million spent on that road, yet the potholes are still there. It is the youth of Mfuleni together with all their communities who must stand up and say, enough is enough. They have never seen such dirty township, townships like the ones in Imfulin, where people wake up in the morning on the day of elections, pass the same debt that they see on daily basis, yet they still vote for the same party that puts them there. Why would the people of Amman Skral still, still trust the ANC and its president? When 31 people were killed by that water, which is not good for you, human consumption. 
the president of the country went there. The water story of Haman's Kral was all over the international news, yet it is not fixed. What was the purpose of a president going there if after he visited, the situation remains the same? It was not to go and solve the problem. It was to pretend that I'm solving the problem while doing nothing. They were going there, taking CD and them on a tour. The journalists for public relations because after going there, there's nothing that changed. They just call journalists and be covered. From there, they go back home. Yet, the people of Amman's Kral will still vote for the ANC. There are areas where people live in flood area, uh, land in Mamilodi, where an alternative land must be found for the people of Mamilodi so that when the floods come, we don't experience what we experienced in KwaZulu Natal. The same thing in Straita, in Alexander. Why those people are still there in Straita 30 years? When I was the president of the Youth League, I went to Straita, presented a clear plan to government. Let's relocate these people and then immediately convert this thing into a park. Because they were saying, when you relocate them, they come back. I said, you relocate them and not do anything with the land. But once you relocate them, convert this into a park, put nice toys there and all of that, our people are not crazy. They've never occupied a park. <laughs> and it will be a very nice park. Eh? We can call it Mulanjini. You know, there is a river passing there. So a simple thing, I think the comrades of the EFF in Johannesburg will follow that up. 5,500 people murdered in Gauteng. This is half the number of people who were killed in various armed conflict across the world. So many people killed in Gauteng as if we are in a, in a war. And majority of the people who are killed here in Gauteng is women and children. A government that cannot protect women and children has got no capacity to protect anything under the sun. <laughs> Charlotte Matreke Hospital bent down here in Johannesburg. A well-capacitated state even in the absence of capacity, you can extend the invitation to your friends all over the world to come and urgently help you to revive that hospital. Because we cannot have a section of a hospital not working. Because we still need more hospitals. Now, even the one that we have doesn't work. They take long to award tenders because they will never award a tender as long as they don't know who's going to receive that tender. Comrades, the EFF has demonstrated its capacity throughout that when given an opportunity, the EFF doesn't wait for tomorrow. It executes those things with immediate effect. I mean, we went into Johannesburg to go and we support the DA coalition under Herman Mashaba. And we said to Herman Mashaba, you are going to insult securities. And we insult securities in Johannesburg when we were not in government. Imagine if we are in government, if we can do so much when we are outside government. <laughs> to remove a poor security guard from 4,500 into 12,500 a month with medical aid, with pension fund. Because Batbar Nawabainchi all over in the Eastern Cape, in KwaZulu Natal, in Limpopo, they came here to work. 
But when they go back home, they've got nothing to show. Why? This man has been a security guard at Charlotte McGregor Hospital. He was never permanent. Companies come and go. He moves from one company to the other company. From one company to the other company. For 40 years, when that year comes where our father must retire back home, he comes back with TB, with no pensions. And then we say our parents were useless in, the, in Johannesburg. Neba Jacoba Sadiba Makwe. Aba Jacoba Sadiba Makwe. Bajile Kema Kua Mato. Basaba Pate Lidi Chele Tejabona. Basaba Fidi Pension Fund. Because Jacoba Sadi. Ara Dalau Yiwam. Rete Juve Reka. We can't lose focus when we are here. We are not going to stay in this place. This place is a forest. It has got too much water. It can get floods at any time. We are here to collect money and go back to our places to go and work the beautiful land where we come from. Comrades, now look at the MMCs of the EFF in Igurleni. Given an opportunity in less than six months, the day we took that waste collection department. The same week the DA complained and made a tweet, took a picture of the trucks, waste trucks entering Tembisa. Because the EFF went to unlock those trucks and said, go and collect rubbish all over the townships. And then the DA said, when we were there, these trucks, they said they were broken, they were not available. Why, where do the trucks come from? You don't know anything about governance. Allow the EFF to teach you governance. In less than a week, the trucks were lining up. Comrades, today there is no sewer spillage in Igurlene that can be brought to the attention of the leadership of the EFF and that sewer is not resolved in less than 24 hours because our MMCs are activists. Today, they want to create an impression that Igurlene has got financial problems. They even put a motion in the council that Igurlene is about to be bankrupt. We went into the council, opened the books of the municipality. Igurlene is in the positive, it's not negative. The finances of Igurlene stabilized by the EFF. Comrades, our people in Tokoza, in Duduza, in Fosloras, they appreciate the kind of work that the EFF is doing in those areas. Comrades of Mogali City, small municipality with no resources, they always find opportunities to go and work the ground with our people. One day I was observing a council of the EFF. There is no money to build a tar road. There is no money to do paving. The, the MMC of the EFF went to fetch the grade of the municipality and said this road, the cars can't drive. Even if we are waiting for the day we have money for the tar road or something, let's regravel this road so that it's conducive at least for taxis to have access and help our people. You don't need a tender. You don't have to have money. You don't have to have anything. You must only be armed with a political will that let me do something for my people so that they can see the good work that the EFF is doing. Comrades, our MMCs in Johannesburg in health, who are healthy, Utsamaya, Afadi, Clinic, the generator, 
or clinics must not be affected by load shedding under the government of the EFF. What public safety with buildings to remove Abatu from the buildings, the NGOs are taking us to court, is trying to fight crime and then return Johannesburg inner city to its former glory. That is what the EFF MMCs are obsessed with. Let our people return to the safe city of Johannesburg. In Johannesburg, if we are there for long, will maintain law and order. There will be law and order at Small Street. There will be law and order everywhere. No one will grab a phone and disappear. No one will grab a bag and disappear. How are you going to do that? Every street must be fitted with a camera. You grab a bag here. Yeah. When you turn this side, the camera is looking at you. When you turn this side, the camera is looking at you. When, by the time you settle, you are settling under the camera. You are not aware. Zawbam will arrest you. Why the ANC couldn't do that, I don't understand. Because putting cameras everywhere in the city is an immediate viable solution to the high levels of crime in the Johannesburg city. Why the ANC can go and clean the New World tax rank? When you enter New World tax rank, you find piles and piles of dead right at the gate of a tax rank that is used by our people on daily basis. But when you go to Santen City, there is no such a thing. Yet we are under one municipality. Comrades, now, I'm saying this to you, you've got so many things that you can report about your successes because I'm talking to the converted here. I'm not talking to the electorate. You are members and leaders of the EFF in your own right. That's why you are here. So, it's important that when you meet from time to time, you must remind yourself of your successes within the short space of time, and then remind yourself of so many other challenges that our people are still confronted with. You call yourself ground forces. What is a ground force? Because someone is going to ask you, what is a ground force? We as the ground forces of the EFF stand at the center of this revolutionary change and should therefore be alert of our obligation and task of volunteers of the EFF. We as the ground forces of the EFF must always have the capacity to organize. You can't be a ground force if you can organize. You must have the capacity to mobilize. A ground force must have a capacity to educate. A ground force must have the capacity to agitate. So as a ground force, you are a doctor of society. You can't go into communities and they say they don't have water. And then you also join in the crying. And then you call yourself a doctor of society. So let me give you this example. You go into theatre with a doctor, they are going to operate you. I mean, you see a doctor, worse because you believe in white people. You see a white doctor, Oramo, today I'm going to be healed. Isn't Ozame is right today? When you are about to be, uh, to be made to sleep, you are in pain. The doctor starts crying. That white man of a doctor that you are looking up to, right? No, today my things are fine. The doctor is here. That you are crying, you've got a pain. The doctor starts crying. 
What are you going to do? You will stop immediately. Not only crying, even the operation itself, you will stop. Uraula Dr. Naginama. So when the communities complain, you don't join in the complaining. You join in giving the solutions to the problems that are confronting our communities. That's what the ground force is. Comrades, a ground force must be a community activist. A ground force must be a caring individual. But comrades, you can't care. You can't care if you don't care about yourself. You can't say I'm the most caring person, yet you don't care about yourself. You have no self-love and self-respect and want to stand and say, I can take care of the community. A, a ground force must be a caring person. But before you care for others, care for self. Then you can care for others. <laughs> Comrades, you must be in the genuine community struggles and activities. When there is a community protest, you must be at the center of that protest. But do not join the protest of ANC disgruntled councillor who was removed, who wants to remove this councillor and uses the genuine demands of the community to fight internal ANC factional battles. <laughs> Remember, you are a doctor of society. So being a doctor means you have to make a proper diagnosis and your proper diagnosis will tell you that this is not a community protest. This is an ANC functional politics and we are not going to get involved. <laughs> Comrades, most of you have no details. I just praised some MMCs here, Buddhan. I can just ask one of them to stand up now and ask them how many hospitals are in your what or your township? How many schools are there? How many primaries are there? How many parks are there? Are there shops there? How many spaza shops are there? How many are owned for, by foreigners? How, you cannot be a ground force without that information. Because you ought to know your community. You must know what constitutes my community. These defenders of the revolution that I came up with the name, I got it in Cuba. In Cuba, every street has got what they call defenders of the revolution. They know everybody who stays there. They know all the cars that move there. They know the visitors. They know everything. Me being me, one day I just walk out of the hotel to take a, you know, a walk there in the suburb. I pass go that way. When I look back, there are people following me. The next thing, the others are coming from the other side. I decided to stop. What is the problem? Yes, where are you going? Who are you? Where are you going here? I, I bet they speak Spanish. Me, I don't know Spanish. But I'm sleeping there in the Communist Party Hotel uh, in, in, in Cuba, in uh, the city, in Havana. Now, I must explain to the defenders of the revolution, because Spanish. Hotel Partido, Hotel Partido. Crowd Communist Party Hotel, Hotel Partido. Hotel Partido. Hotel Partido. Partido. Yes. There, there. Come, come, come. I'm very much. I'm very much.
Go pop. They know everything that is happening in their community. You cannot be a ground force because a ground force is a defender of the revolution. You are the front line of the revolution. And therefore you must know what is happening around you. Comrades, a ground force must be a revolutionary and make sure that at all material times, when the leadership calls you for action, you are there. Because the leadership can say, we must come here at 12 o'clock, and then you arrive at 2 o'clock. That is lack of discipline. Because at the center of discipline is time. So, why should you keep time? Why should you be disciplined? Why should you make it on time and do the organizational work? It is because you are a professional revolutionary. You are not just a revolutionary. You took, you took being revolutionary as a profession. And therefore, if indeed this is your profession, you must do it like all other professions are executed. Teachers teaching as a profession, 8 a.m. ever we are starting, teachers are there. That's what you are. You are a profession. But what kind of a profession are you, a professional are you if you are not knowledgeable? Therefore, a ground force is a well-informed and knowledgeable professional revolutionary. What is a ground force? A ground force is informed and knowledgeable professional revolutionary. What does professional revolutionary mean? It means that I treat my revolution and my revolutionary obligation the same way as all other professions do. And therefore, if you now accept that you are a professional, you will not behave in a manner that professionals do not behave. Comrades, you ought to have a revolutionary morality. Revolutionary morality is the core of a revolutionary belief system. Revolution by any means necessary requires that you must have a revolutionary morality. And in the absence of revolutionary morality, you can't be a ground force because you've got a potential of being impimpi. Comrades, why would you call yourself a ground force at the same time you write on Twitter and on Facebook you say, I'm depressed, I'm bored, I'm sad. There's too much to be done as a ground force for you to be bored, for you to be depressed, for you to be sad. I'm very happy there at my house, Buddha. I've got my three kids under roof, my wife. It's so nice, you know, I'm enjoying there. But when I was coming here, I was enjoying more coming here, that I'm going to where the people who care about our people have gathered. It's always very nice to go to the fighters. So you can't be bored. Why are you bored? Just look at where the fighters are. I'm telling you, you are going to find the deputy chairperson of Gauteng trying to close some factory somewhere. Just go and join there and close that factory. <laughs> and then you come and say, Hi, I'm sad. You are not sad. Get yourself something to do. <laughs> fighters, Ground forces do not hold grudges against each other. Because when you are a ground force, you cannot exist in isolation.
you exist within a collective. And therefore, it is important that when I've made a mistake, I apologize. And once you say I, you receive my apology, it's done. We're moving forward with our revolutionary obligation. You know, I'm very sensitive with language. So every time I want to speak a different language, I'm like, hey, I'm going to mess it up. So I end up not saying what I want to say. So in the struggle when we're growing up, because we came here in the struggle when we were very young. When we were growing up, we just found Buddha calling each other, Matkaban. Hey, Matkaban. Hey, Matkaban. Hey, Matkaban. So some of us, we don't just call names. We ask, why do these people call each other Matkaban? What is it, Kaban? Where does that concept come from? Then some old man explains to me, but it's like me, we're both paid, so I don't know if he's correct or what. He says, no, this concept, Matkabani, comes from the initiation of the Tosas. Because there, when you are in the initiation, so you must cover with that, uh, what do you call it? Cream or uh, powder or something. Yeah, whatever. You see the thing they put on the body? You must cover with that thing. But the problem is that you must cover at the back. So it's not, and, and remember that the discipline there is a different kind of discipline. So you were told you are going in there, by the time you come out, you should have covered the all of this body, even at the back. Now, this comrade of mine has to cover me at the back. Then, in return, I have to cover him at the back. Then they call themselves Matkabani. That's not the point I'm making. Now, remember, we're on the point of do not hold grudges because you must always have each other's back. Because the Matkabani. Now, you have covered me at the back. I've got no mirror to see if you have done right. And the teacher out there is waiting to inspect me. That if I'm not properly covered, I'm going to be beaten to hell. I don't know what's happening at my back. I don't know what's going to happen to me when I leave this small house of mine to go for inspection by the teacher. But I have, to, I have to trust you, my comrade, that you have done the right thing. I don't have to see at the back because you took care of my back. I know you will never betray me. I know you will cover me properly. I have to trust you. Because why can't I trust my own comrade? Can I trust my own comrade today? Do we still have my Kabani amongst us today? Can I say with confidence that I don't have to look back because there are fighters at the back? If the enemy comes from the back, the fighters will take care of the enemy. Comrades, Ground forces do not hold grudges because they have to take care of each other's back. And how do you take care of my back if you've got a grudge against me? Comrades, when you are a fighter with all the beautiful things you have, Some of you are now MMCs. Your salaries are big. You're going to buy cars. You're going to buy shoes. You're going. A ground force does not display opulence in the face of poverty. At all material times, it doesn't matter how beautiful your car is. Do not display opulence. 
on Facebook, on Twitter, and everywhere else. Always be grounded and be humble. Comrades, I told you, 75% of the youth of Deep Sluot are unemployed, which means the levels of poverty in Deep Sluot are at this level. You, the chairperson of the EFF of the branch in Deep Sluot, you eat food and then you take a picture and then you put it on Facebook. What must those people do with the food on Facebook? How does that help to improve the living standards of our people? Comrades, fighters must help each other. When you help each other, the left hand must not know what the right hand is doing. Oskaban Tusha, how fejaun Tusha wabun tama ya mutu kamuka. Orle mona yualo, kena kiri kiri yo. I know Uto Lala on Relega Serutu Scan Tushamanish Nti say Kiwe Lebu Soko di Vaca Mara Kiwe Ki Nalisi Riti. I only have my dignity, I have nothing. Don't go around after helping me and talking about me everywhere or up in one other limb on a bar who are graduate a good doctor gave a guess cover a pattern work as well a doctor help each other help communities without expecting anything in return help communities without expecting votes from communities go and help them and help them genuinely Oscar ba famets, si au fetja ba famets war vote lang ya fever file mets. Sama ya le mets ya len. Verreke lang si chaba. Me di royal le na eta bolela mos chabeng or moshomo wa EFF king. Comrades. Ba tsonga ba le ba bolala war metero ya bolabul. So please, as you go out there to work with our people, be humble and help and help genuinely without expecting anything in return. Comrades, branch election task force's role is to make sure in your branch there is an election work. All VDs in your branch must have VDTFs and must have coordinators and conveners. And when you go, we say says you are struggling in the farms, you are not struggling anything, you are not doing work. Because we can go there today, we'll come back with the people there. The problem is that because it's too far, you go and establish a VDETF. After that, you no longer visit those people. When they say, bring all the coordinators and conveners of VDTFs, you remember that VDTF in the farm there. Hey, Matagale, Irkiba phone in. Ah, we do go to our job. Eh, eh. Really, there are two Tamu, La Lokwale, La Lukwile. Arisana, Mola Lokwale, Kwile, Tamaile. But you would have known that they are no longer staying there. If after establishing VDETF, you keep in contact with them, you service that VDETF, you do election campaigns in that VD. Lena, you just want to tick the boxes and then you forget about these people. People can only be activists if they are activities. 
You can't be activist without activity. So each VD must have an activity. And what is activity? Some of you, you think activity is this. In Mughali City, no, not in Westrand. If we were to call all those fighters there, and our supporters, all of them, they will never have a meeting like this. Because their area is small. It's a small region. But when they say organize an activity, you thinking of this kind of an activity, and you think if it's not this big, it means it's a flop. It's not a flop. Activity means netball games. Activity means football matches. Activity means cultural activities. There are so many things we can do to keep our people involved and structures of the EFF active. So, if you are a BTTF coordinator and a convener, and there is a VD you have been visited that week, you must know you are not deserving of being a, a BTF convener or coordinator. Your job, you are a coordinator. Coordinate the VDs. What's your job? What are you coordinating? Because coordination means who coordinated the VD. This weekend we're in this VD. Next weekend, there won't be an activity by the BETF. In the same VD, we are going to the next VD. Like that, like that, like that. We cover all of the VDs. There is no VD that is important than the other VD. You say, no, this is a big VD. This, okay, fine, you will win that big VD and lose all the small VDs and lose the what? Take care of all the VDs. Let everybody feel that we are part of the EFF and no one must be left behind. <laughs> Comrades, let me tell you, we are going to run a clean campaign. No ground force must threaten anyone, particularly women who support other political parties, including threatening other fighters. You can't be a ground force if you threaten others. No ground force must remove or destroy any property belonging to another political party or remove other political parties' posters. Don't do that. <laughs> Fighters, don't disrupt meetings of other political parties. Don't prevent people from doing their things. You can't stop anyone from doing door to door or campaigning in your ward or even in your own squatter camp where you occupied the land. Don't chase anyone away. Don't force anyone to join our party or attend our meeting. Don't force people to donate to the EFF, especially my Somalia lele abuse angale, adispaza shopo, lele also donating, we are going to close your shop. Stop doing that nonsense. No one must be forced to donate to the EFF. Those who donate to the EFF must do so voluntarily. Not because there is a threat. Comrades, don't spread lies, false rumors about other parties or other candidates. Don't use violent language or urge people to use violence against any party or person. Participate in the campaign whilst under the influence of alcohol. For sure, I'm 
Kala ba wangu ba takun tota EFF ba nwele yuala. Do not attend EFF activities under the influence of alcohol. Do not campaign for the EFF under the influence of alcohol or under drugs. Can you into any oxella? Please. Amanila. Asafuna Manila. Comrades, there are some drunkards who love the EFF. Bapara di locha EFF over machalere na badia. But you must know where and how to use them, not in a campaign. Alit about obula ki yuala. Ido ba come here. Le mutenya mo vene ya EFF. Ye la ya weta e lau tu la e le mutse nye gamu. A pa la le muishe cooking center. Ayo na kwa no yu ala incho na mola cooking center. Retar mola referi jo campaign la EFF ra kopa na kau fela. E magola arena ria kutisha. Do not allow them to come and converse for us, comrades. Don't talk to people while you are smoking cigarettes. Do not do that. Don't talk to people while you are smoking cigarettes. How do you go to door to door without a canvassing sheet and a voter's roll? You must always have a canvassing sheet and a voter's roll. Baba inji mo pili mo. If alena the canvassing sheet and voter's roll, it's not your problem. Ke problem yaba. They have a duty to organize you the voters' roll and canvassing sheet. Comrades, don't talk to people when they say they don't have time to talk to you. Ever busy, bashirue, and then go to other people. Do not become an irritation instead of being a campaigner of the EFF. All of you, you are going to approach them, greet them, ask them if they have time. If they say no, walebua, wasepila, and go to the next one. Comrades, do not use vulgar language or enter into confrontation with voters during campaign or door to door our words ena mo motseng wa motho are futsa ke lena ba dedi kibudu ya ke le nyaka futsa ke lo wena wa bo jwe ena a futsa ke skar futsa ke futsa are futsa ke or sorry 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 auna mutata e awa le tata le le fitela le le natja jile lengwe le ntsila EFF e na go ele gona awa e na mutata aye e xia marapu e sika sika no yela lo 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 re go ile ke moka wa tsho awa ra ba xani le vote ha re le ba eta pele because i said to you you are leaders in your own right Hari leba eta pele, ridi khezi cha masipa. La etziba swarsaka, kerina, rio foshiwa, ka everything ramorela. Kika baka la ingi, mushumu woru khetili nguo. Aberna ruguwa everyday, kele nal dibona. Motudo tswa furu, adu rafa, so adu or malema. Or mutwa mudimu go. Ka 6 a.m. wa duotso haka male mabatu wa mudimu. Ulecho urlo raka ye na oru wat. Bon, amo tainele cha jiga muka yo. We are not crybabies. You will never see us responding. Because ridi khezi jama sepa. Rabi sheka mungaba efushimur namu. Kere naridu mechi ngu baba etapeli. 
Aona motwar la tlenga ga ya re Julius etan lebe ba eta pele re le re a ke khafas chabeng and therefore we must have the capacity to take the criticism Comrades members of the EFF must be tolerant members of the EFF must condemn political violence members of the EFF must ensure that at all material times where they campaign they comply with the requirements a lot of ruler la tsala parking no you should know that that park is available on that day because lo ya mola parking yela gane ma ANC ai bugile that park la thomalalo always make sure where you are going to campaign the place is properly secured comrades help the IEC in all its activities inform the proper authorities of all planned matches cooperate with the police in their investigation for elections always speak against gender-based violence always wear a clean EFF regalia Now, I spoke of self-respect and self-love. No one, no one will ever respect you if you don't respect yourself. Now, some of you think that to be clean is to be rich. That if I'm not rich, I can't be clean. No. And you think that to be clean is to wear expensive clothes. No. Always dress up the way you want to be addressed. If you show up dressed up in a manner that suggests you must be addressed in this way, you have already earned confidence and respect of others because they know you respect yourself so when we grow up uwe we na le ntongwe ba re no monna o sanja belele feta so gore bo ba ro sanjo belo khwafo to re nkhela ga makhwafo ngo thapo to re shishimisi ka re nkhela ga le khwafo le khwafa le angkha motho shu do to do watsa le ketlile le ka gae man le sa jo ya mmele nyana mola do to do fighta ta 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 e tobela re lo chiche o tsena le tlang ka fu 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 e wena why is Sanjir voting the EFF? No, return the farm of Berego. Why the Kwafala? No, the la farm is not Berego. No, a fighter must be clean. A fighter must smell good at all times, because smelling good is a sign of self-love and self-respect. Because white people identify black people with dirtiness, and they say we are dirty, and then we smell, and we prove them right. Let's prove them wrong that we are clean. Because even the earlier primitive society that came all the way to settle everywhere they settled they will never settle where there is no river because they knew there must be river to drink water and to wash if you go into the land claims land claims go and look at where our people are claiming land there is always a river Everywhere where our people are claiming land, the land is arable. It's a fertile land. Not Yagua Mutalis. Mutalis on a land claim. 
car ma kuwa asbaiji. Ba fitle ba lebella na gela mutale zguas kukun. Bara. You can keep this one. I don't want to be controversial or cause controversy, but we ought to ask ourselves certain questions. That why would a Zulu kingdom go and settle in Nongoma and leave all of that beautiful arable land of KwaZulu Natal? But head of his king, Igwa. The driest place. Everywhere where our kings are now, Harunyaga Hosh is associated with Tab. Banyaka ingi Tabe ingi. What is there on a mountain? To do what? To do what? Why is the kingdom of England not in a village? Why is it not in village? Ye yar na ye bar utele je story sabo na ba sebulel bar ralo ale mabur ralo ale bona ralo ale bona ra chola so but how we jaga di nuka ra chola when we're fighting the whites and then when we arrived here we defeated them right bar then we defeated them here then we settled here. Ah. Ah. They did not defeat the whites there. The whites pushed them and pushed them and pushed them and pushed them when they realized they are now on a useless land. The most beautiful land. That's why when they do land claim, they are not going to that dry land. Babuela, where the land is fertile. Oh, they were pushed from a fertile land. Maradingwe nyadir bujadir rabafenya. Skukuna vita mwa jigar. Wana pula yengwe nchinchi pula yan. That day, Guru, whatever. Rata rabonor ba di muba chwele ichi man. Wana pula sfako. Maburu ala ara mola. Kau suku nuba tu hari tar, warre tata dia ngah tata tata tata. Kapan nama bayi cuma buru aler feja kabon, rafeja kabon, nama fela, lefeja kabon nama mu mu. Why lese lefeja kabon nama gua teropong gua pulu gua ni, leto feja kabon nama mu. I'm not saying anything. I'm just starting a debate and challenging you to go and check or mara why in Napoleon did dry so maburbo na in the most beautiful land. Why magoshi arna anna on the driest land and not on a fertile arable land? And why should kingdom and royalty be associated with rural areas, whereas the royalty and kingdomship of Britain is not associated with villages and rural? It's right at the center of London. Comrades, please, you ought to project you ought to project yourself as people who are serious about governance. And it starts with how you present yourself. You must present yourself as people who are capable of representing our people. You must represent yourself as people who don't look so hungry. Or you. Imagine our mayor of no root Always ask them if they are ready to listen to you. You must greet and ask if they've got time. You are not entitled to their time. Kwa limpopo, o kata door to door kana kwa skim sam. Leban. So Los Angeles, the time is You can't do door to door during skim sam. You can't do door to door during generation. Is that one generation? 
اگر مو ٹھولا ایلا کو بابا ٹھوزم You can't do door to door during Uzalo. You can't do door to door during prime time news slot 7 a.m. You can't do door to door when there is a derby at FNB. There is no door to door on the day of the derby. There is a derby. We are going to the derby. Even the ground forces get them ticket to the derby. But then I come all like a regalia. Comrades, do not wear EFF material to the alcohol places. Do not go to the club, do not go to uh, the Shebin, do not take pictures holding a beer in your hand, whereas wearing the EFF regalia. So nugget le mo utoli prepare. O really jo mo leti ba urna. What is expected from you, comrades? We will solve load shedding, and you must say it with confidence. And you must never doubt yourself when you tell our people that we will solve load shedding. We will do maintenance on our coal power stations. We'll talk to Russia to come and help us to build more power stations. We will talk to China to come and help us to build more power stations. So Hey, our level thirty one amma, hope I let you show. We are in trouble, but we are friends with Russia. We are friends with China. Are we going to come and take the electricity of South Africa? Build it, operate it for thirty years or so, transfer it back to us. Let's see the level we are going. All different sources of energy will be exploited by the EFF to ensure that we do not rely on one source of energy. But that does not mean we must destroy what we have. The EFF does not, is not opposed to an independent power producers and alternative means and all of that. Whatever the independent power producers are doing, ESCOM will also do it and then will compete with them. Why should ESCOM close shop and open doors for independent power producers? We will solve this problem. The reason why we can't solve this problem now is because the current government wants to give this electricity to their friends and destroy ESCOM. And if electricity is going to be provided by independent power producers, it's going to be extremely expensive and the poor will not afford it. So those are frequently asked questions. Prepare yourself to answer those questions. The recent question that you are going to be confronted with because these people say the EFF is a populist organization. So populist organization means that you always support what you think is popular with the people. So let me tell you what is popular with the people now as we stand here. The streets of East London are occupied by Mapogopog. Right? We don't have a problem with rugby. We love rugby. But we don't love Mapogopog. Mabokopo, the boge, spring bog, is an apartheid symbol. You can't say remove apartheid symbols and maintain the name spring bog and the emblem spring bog and the colors that were used during apartheid by white people. We support rugby. 
Mara yeye maburu ye. Hey, you can't say roads must fall. And don't say springbok must not fall. The springbok must fall. That national team will get it a new name and a new colors and a new emblem which will represent our democracy. Why are we being forced here? Why are we being forced to salute the emblem that was saluted by Malan, to salute the emblem that was saluted by Bota, by Fervut, by Ditlek, by murderers who were killing our people wearing the same jersey in celebration of butchering of black people? That that emblem and that jersey represent white supremacy, supremacists that we don't support hey Budali, you know my political consciousness then escapes me i'm at the airport when this rugby thing started hey my book a book hi can i live with you we are Antropelis keep us a poco poco come. Reaparer support. Why have one abu we are this keep? Or not get a conanya and a mo chin chiwapar. Get hey! Badimubangana. I really sell with Jabba. Ah. Ay, 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 ay. Comrades, no rappelle John to Shibanur, strong together, no shushume, or no shushume, or no, how Cabolella against it. Hey, you are against the popular view, yet they call you a populist. How can I be a populist and go against a popular view now? I don't support Springbok. I don't support the emblem and the apartheid colors that the national team wears. We want the colors that represent democracy. Rugby, I support. Rugby is not a white man's sport. They found it here. Our people in the Eastern Cape and everywhere else played rugby long before these people played rugby. Jalo agero abana ujere political position. Sometimes you doubt yourself, Rish. But sometimes you are too radical. Maybe, maybe. Ah, man. Ke muka ba tama loje jabo na ba tabaru. Hey, trophy, trophy. Hey, abeg tuwa frukir. Ma boko boko. The whole team. Ya ma boko boko. Eka mo famung ya Johan Rupert. Yes, Kamo Famu, the national team. Yes, a day before yesterday or yesterday? Huh? We've never kept turning a day before yesterday because yesterday they were in Deben. A day before yesterday, after the Cape Town leg, the bus landed in Johannes Rupert's farm, a private farm. Uh, the whole national team with the cup arrived at the private farm of Johan Rupert. Nagito supporter lo jana che wenna. Tabu Johan. What? The whole team icho nwa ya ya akitsibika Marok. Mara ba gaba ba rovetsi ga nako. So comrades, Mabogobo is an Afrikaner pride. It's an Afrikaner property. That's why the president of the Afrikaners, Johan Rupert, received a Mabogobo. Johan Rupert's farm is treated. Mabogobo goes to Union Building from union building to the mayor, from the mayor to parliament, from parliament to Johan Rupert's farm, they are at the same level. That's how the farm of Johan Rupert gets the national team. 
not Mamilo the sundowns of Patris Motsipe going to Patris Motsipe's farm. It's none of our business. Marayela Barkiari Naila. Each you are all of it on an official diary of rugby tour, Johan Rupert's farm. Parliament, Johan Rupert's farm. Same level. And then I must accept that I'm not part of that nonsense. I'm not going to support anything that represents white supremacists, anything that represents apartheid, everything that undermines black people. I will never be part of it. You can be part of your Mapoko Poko. I will remain Libafana Bafana until the team of South Africa is brought back into action by the government of the EFF. There is talent. There is talent in South Africa. Our sport is not performing well because it's not funded. It has got no sponsors. Yet white sport gets all types of sponsors. That's why they thrive. I'm not going to be part of together forever, forever what? Kamaka. The rata ambu pretender. Basatole suta makua. Kar le rata ambu ba vinela le molungura winyake. I'm not going to dance to that, comrades. In this country, we are struggling. Our people are poor. Trains, train is the cheapest mode of transport. But from November until now. Last year, November last year until now, there hasn't been a single long distance trip train of Shosho Lozamin. I saw a train now in Eastern Cape. There is no longer train to Pulukwan. There is no longer train to Deben. They advertise train tickets. You go buy the tickets. When you arrive there, they put you in a bus. Train is even more safer than the bus. That's why some of our people take that option. They go and hire locomotives in Prasa. They hire 10 locomotives, Buddali, with 70 million. They pay 70 million. Then, after hiring 10 locomotives, they put six, they pack six of the 10 and operate only four. I get they paid 70 million. So with the four, they make 10 million. Then you guys say, hey, these trains are not making profit. How can we spend 70 million? And these people are only making 10 million. No, they took other trains and packed them so that that thing can show that it's not performing well. And when it's not performing well, this is the, that, hey, let's talk again. In Costa. Samayang privatize this thing and give it to people who can operate. They create a crisis where there is no crisis. I get about I get SAA. Yalo, now they are going for trains. The trains are going to be privatized and given to their friends because they want everything in their pockets before they leave. Comrades, in this country, there is what we call a national gambling board. A gambling board that regulates casinos and all of that. There hasn't been a national gambling board board. There's only one person appointed to be an administrator for almost, if not more than five years. Because who are you working? With one person, who are you? Black body day. But not as fast as we speak now. The children at UNISA, at all universities, they did not receive their accommodation money, they did not receive the books money, they did not receive their allowances because Blade in Zimande has destroyed higher education and NSFAS in particular. 
khane ke bolela kae ke bolela ka taba tshe lo kopana le tsona le tsena ka mometseng ke a le prepare le be le di antsara hore bo khodu ba bo bladings mande ba o bola ke malwetse a matalo ba tjo khona chelete ya ns fast ba khodu ba o tjo chelete ya di tshiwana di often o tshe chelete la o tjo reka creamy ke yellow bone plate from ning ka chelete ya ns fast yellow bone comrades di ko tshe tshe di nchimotsile so many accidents di kosa ke di traka mara di traka di ka stop e go tsamaya on the road because transnet has collapsed they collapsed transnet that's why so many trucks on the road and that's why so many accidents on the road we need to go back to the trains and remove the trucks from the road and reduce the accidents on our road as we go into the festive season comrades ese khale re now when i grew i grew up in a township we grew up drinking water in polokwane were given by apartheid lebua government water the ANC government came and took away that water. There's no water in Pulukwan. Not in Sishiu. Maybe a girl you will say, no, maybe this one's of that. Even in a town where white people are, there's no water. The infrastructure is old, it's finished, the water is leaking, it can't reach where it's supposed to leak because there's never been any form of maintenance on the existing infrastructure and build an alternative new infrastructure. The same can be said about the roads. Comrades, there's a problem of crime, all right? especially catching transit crime the kingpins the people who send people to go and commit catching transit are known are known ali dia door to door le le ba bo tjo re tlo ba bolaya e ya re to ra loka le bona mo iff mo re tsi ya mmusho we have no time for criminals especially criminals who raise firearms against law enforcement once you do that unambe u die thapelo ya mafelelo ka re wola u di ile ngo kopana le yena criminals violent criminals who threaten law enforcement in this country must be shot and killed because they don't deserve to live amongst us before I door boja ga di tukelo they must think about the rights of others first born we are going to fight crime how do we fight crime by ensuring that all police commissioners are under constant lifestyle audits because police commissioners and generals are richer than rich people themselves so we need to act on the leadership of the police because it gets rotten from the head ma police are na mo fase abana problem Baudi ya merago batho ba modimo a o nyoko tsore mo police a o dia merago dia botsotsi wena o tlo bona ba tlo bi a fase ka kwa thembisa ka wini mandela o zaru khutini ditso ya shiti the head comrades palestine support is an unwavering support that we give an ashamed because we know the pain 
that can be caused by occupiers. We still live with occupiers ourselves to date. We know what the people of Palestine are going through because when they get removed in Gaza by force, to us it's not theory. We lived forced removals ourselves here in South Africa. We know what is torture. We've been tortured. Till today, we remain a traumatized nation. We support Palestine. And we make no apology about supporting Palestine. Our support for Palestine is not a calling for killing Jewish people. Hamas that we said we are supporting, that will arm. It must know that the EFF is not in a struggle of killing Jewish people. Of killing pregnant Jewish women and children. Do not involve the innocent in your fight. Always, as we fight Palestine, uh, uh, Israeli government, the apartheid Zionist Israeli government, let us know where our target is. It is everything else that represents Zionism, everything else that represents apartheid Israel must be shot down and dropped. But that, that should never be confused with killing of Jewish people. So for you not to make a mistake, you may want to familiarize yourself with a literature. So that you don't go around people's door to door and say, no, uh, the Jews are killing Palestinians, they were going to kill the Jewish people. Uh -uh. We're not killing any Jewish person, we're not supporting any organization that says it wants to kill Jewish pregnant women and children. We're not part of that nonsense. A revolutionary at all material times must be guide, gu guided by the feelings of love. We love humanity. Therefore, we love our women and our children. How do you bomb a hospital? Even if the president of Hamas ran into that hospital, is hiding in that hospital, you can't bomb that hospital. How do you bomb a refugee camp? Even if I must run into that refugee camp, you are in no position to bomb a refugee camp. Comrades, those guys are involved in ethnical cleansing. They want to wipe off the Palestinians. This is a genocide, it's an international crime, and ICC must issue a warrant of arrest against Netanyahu. Why do you issue warrant of arrest on Putin who has not done worse than what Netanyahu has done to the people of Palestine? Comrades, having said everything I said, at the center of all of that is the centrality of the organization. Guard this organization. Protect it because it's a vehicle that will deliver all of this that we are speaking about here today. Without organization, we are nothing. That's why in the EFF, when we say Amanda, we raise a clinched fist because this is organization. This is us all over the world. Then we come this way. We form an organization. It is this organization that will deliver black people to true freedom. Comrades, you are now armed. You are armed with the weapon of what you must use when you go into the communities. 
you must go there unapologetically. Don't miss any house. Don't say it's Sunday or Midrand or Soweto. Be everywhere. Mutu Mutu. That is the campaign of the EFF. You must speak to people directly. We are unleashing you into the communities. Go and spread the gospel of the revolution. Go and tell them that 2024 is our 1994, that the EFF will be government, whether they like it or they don't like it, the EFF will be at the union building after the day of the election. We are not preparing elections. We are preparing for victory. This is a road to victory. It starts here and now at Stadion Bank Arena, we are marching to the union building and nothing will stop in front of us because anything that is going to stand in front of us, we are going to crush it into ashes and destroy it because now is the time for economic freedom in our lifetime. My Tome! My Tome! My Tome! My Tome! Amanda! Thank you very much. <laughs>